Hey, everybody. Nice to see you. Sorry we can't be together in person. I am away from my computer right now, but wanted to wish a happy 500th episode to all of my co-hosts, to the producers behind the scenes, and of course, the audience. What a journey it's been. As I recall, it was just about two years ago when we began this interesting little uh, project. It's like it's like a daily show um, by students of objectivism who take the philosophy seriously and are kind of learning it in real time often and at times have guests with, with various expertises in various different topics. Um, and I guess we kind of showcase uh, how you might apply uh, your philosophical beliefs or how you might learn philosophy while actually experiencing life. I remember we did... Um, my first episode, Nikos and I, that was the first time he and I actually ever met, quote unquote. It was over, over Zoom, but still the first time we'd ever spoken. And we did an episode together about, I think it was the, uh, I don't know, what, 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 how would you call it? The downfall of society that was taking place outside of my door in Los Angeles. It was a very disheartening time. I mean, to me, uh, to this day, those riots in LA and of course around the country, um, signified a, an irreversible change or a kind of a, a point of no return. Um, I will, I'll, I'll never really see things the same way after that. It, it was, uh, I mean, all of 2020 was kind of like a shocking um, series of changes uh, after which things will never quite be the same. So 2020 was a fascinating year. Uh, I recall I became a never Trumper here on the show in the aftermath of the 2020 election. So just as Trump was losing the election, I finally realized why I I stand strongly against Donald Trump. So uh, that, of course, uh, raised no controversy at all. We've taken some heat. I've taken some heat. You watching at home at times have gotten heated and upset. But at the end of the day, we are like a family, and we have learned a lot together, and will continue to do so, I hope, for a long time. Um, I recently met Kennedy, not the president or the senator, but the uh, free libertarian, uh, free market lady uh, who originally was an MTV video jockey and then became like a outspoken like free market person on like Fox Business and Fox News. Uh, Jonathan Honig probably knows a lot more about her career. He probably knows her personally. Um, I think Jonathan's been on her show, but I met Kennedy incidentally very recently here in Austin, which is kind of like the, um, is kind of like the new, uh, Mecca, kind of like the new spot for not only objectivists, but also like kind of outside the box, like not exactly right wing, not left wing, kind of like, you know, the Elon Musk's of the world, all of these people, Lex Fridman lives out here, all these kind of like centrist ish kind of, um, People searching for a new way who are maybe open to new ideas and not committed to any ideas. That's kind of what Austin uh, represents to me. And of course, as you know, if you watch the show avidly, I basically grappled with the idea of leaving L.A. and moving to Austin um, live on the show and ultimately made my decision. And we've been on that journey together in a sense. Uh, so anyway, I met Kennedy and... Uh, we spoke briefly, and I learned that Kennedy actually became a libertarian because Kurt Loder, the other MTV VJ, gave her a copy of Ayn Rand's Introduction to Objectivist Epistemology. You never know how uh, giving somebody a copy of Ayn Rand's book uh, might change their life. You never know who's watching this show and who might read Ayn Rand because of us. Um, I mean, where Kennedy ended up is not as an objectivist, but... But the effects of reading Rand uh, are impactful. And, you know, what if a show like this one had been on at a time when someone like Kennedy was reading Rand? Who knows how their journeys might have gone different? It's, it's hard to know. Um, I, so I kind of see the Daily Objective as like the new MTV News. You know, we're hip. We're trendy. We got like, we got hipsters. We got guys like Jonathan Honig on here. That's how I see us. So we talk about the news and we talk about culture and we also uh, sort of uh, look at it through this prism, uh, through this lens of, of Ayn Rand's objectivism, which is a philosophy that has impacted all of our lives. Uh, this show, I think, uh, has been very successful. That's not to say uh, there haven't been mistakes. There hasn't been, there haven't been uh, you know, uh, regretful statements here and there, like uh, mistakes made and all of that. But I guess that's kind of like the format. 
it's organic, it's live, and we're learning in real time. So uh, thank you for being with us on this journey. I uh, hope to keep it going much further and much longer. Uh, thank you for your support entirely. Uh, or mo most of all, I must say thank you for your support. Uh, thank you for always leaving a like on the video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being a member on the Ayn Rand Central UK website and being a member here on the YouTube channel. Thank you for leaving super thanks. Thanks for sending super chats. Um, as we know, uh, life requires uh, material wealth. Life requires money. And this network is no exception. Ayn Rand Center for profit. Thank you. See you soon. And goodbye.